So artists are gonna do a little paint swatch like we've done before, and these are my three uh, main colors. Well, my two colors, and then I have black and white. And I've added a little, just mixed just a tiny little bit. So I took some of that blue and I mixed some white, and then that's the color that I came up with. So these are the natural colors, and that's mixing a little bit of white. Now I took this blue here, make sure you know the name, so this one's ultramarine, and I mix it with a little bit of white, and I'm going to paint this because then I'm going to decide if I like these colors for what we're doing with our um, wooden tile projects. This is, remember, Charlie Harper inspired. So there's my, my sketch that I've done, and I put it on my little tile after I painted the whole thing white. And then I took the kneaded eraser and erased it as best I could. These other erasers actually work quite well. So you could do this, but make sure you draw really light. And again, I use my stencil. I had my stencils over here and I found a circle that I could use because all of his stuff is very geometric. So I'm gonna keep doing my color swatch. When you start painting artists, always make sure you start with your lighter color first and you can go over it with your darker ones, when, darker colors when you make a mistake. So I've just painted all the white and you see how I put a thin layer um, but with white, you might need to go back and make a second coat. So here's my second coat of white. When you're painting artists, you really want hardly any paint on the tip of your brush. And you're probably gonna be using the circular ones and not these so you have more room to mix. So the next color I'm starting with is the blue because it's the next darker color. And typically artists, when you paint, you outline the area, create that nice gentle edge you know, just get a little bit of paint on your paintbrush. And you can always add more paint, remember. And I'm going as close to that line as I can with my brush. And I'm holding my phone, so I'm gonna have to put this down. But you wanna outline the whole area. I'm doing this whole area here. And then if you wanna get a bigger brush to fill in the center, you can. If you look, artist, I'm gonna to have to do a second coat of this. And so I went in, I outlined it, and then I went in with my bigger brush. Artist, I, sh I know I showed you how to mix colors, but if, if possible, you can use the main color that's in the bottle, that would be better because you're gonna to have to do two coats and trying to mix to get the right colors may not work out very well. as you can see where I've got this is actually three coats and I'm going back in and I'm fixing these lines with a darker color I went in and made the white again so uh, use a flat brush but be very very careful mm -hmm. 